Welcome back to Game Bike, guys. We are at White Orchid or Orchard, sorry, and we're about to go into the tavern and prepare to leave with uh, Vesemir. Let's go. Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so something wrong. Look around. Trouble brewing. Time we were on our way. Mm hmm. Now buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it just this once. Oh, shit. Well. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down to hang a golden sun there now. I cannot show to Mary in colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fund of the Imperials. You Nilfgaard's whore. I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. I do no shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let my sister go. attending to the birth. And you don't fear the gods' wrath. You don't fear it, you cunt. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Ah, fucking... this medallion you know what it means back off you all right they say witches steal young'uns that's true what the emperor promise you freaks your own land like he did the elves once get out all of you we ain't going nowhere oh fucking hell neither are you they won't back down now Oh <laughs> shit, here we go. Gonna raise them to the Oh my I can't see. I can't see. Hmm. <laughs> Showed them, didn't we? Oh sliced. And diced. It's all right. It's over. Leave me be. Get away. See his face. God save us. Be gone. And don't ever come back. Oh, I thought I liked you. for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. That brawl, we didn't start it. Oh. By the way, I believe that I have the alternative dresses on. If I remember excuses, correctly. Excuses. You've not changed. Yeah, things. I have the alternative dresses on. Y Yen? Oh. <laughs> Yay! A report about a Graciously sexy girl. Hey! I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. 
How did you imagine it? You didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby. In bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Don't I number among that group? For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse. I didn't, though I could have. Ah, oh, here we go. Wonder what he offered you. Must have been a damn good offer then. Not many things you'd give up your freedom for, and even fewer people. The sooner we set off, the sooner you'll find out. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Care More, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your oh, course? bye, Vesemir. Bye. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls. As soon as possible. Oh. Bye, Vesemir. Goodbye. See you later. I'd imagine. If I can remember rightly. Still can't get over that outfit. I've not actually seen it yet, to be fair. I had a dream about you recently. There's, a... you, it was probably filthy. There's another the thing. Beginning. But then. But then. Uh... Oh, hang on. Fucking showed them. Jennifer, how big? We shall talk of this tomorrow, all right? After the audience. Sweet. Okay. So yeah, the thing I was gonna say another good thing about um, CD Projekt Red and The Witcher Three is the fact this that. The tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She deluded him for years, but now seems just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. Oh, I keep getting interrupted. I, what I like about it is the fact that they've, they've released like 14 or 13 DLCs for free. I didn't need to I buy anything else. Just for free. And I'm getting washed by three ladies. Get in there. Sweet. No, where are you going? Come back. Hmm. It must suffice. The 
Blinkenir cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the berger. The what now? In that chair. Huh. Catwin, please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. Something fucking wrong with my beard. What's wrong with my beard? I always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. Cheeky bitch. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. Fucking all of oil to fuck. How goes it? The preparations for the audience proceedings plan. Yes, General. The gentleman will be more or less presentable. Who's this guy? He a barber too? Ha. <laughs> Burn. No. Wolfram Boris, commander of the Alba Division. Yennefer's escort. They were my men. All of them. Indeed, were. For none have returned to the zoo, have they? I truly wonder what happened on the road yesterday. Perhaps you could enlighten me. You have time. And a uh, razor for your throat. Bit of a dick. Your men died in battle, as soldiers tend to. I see their fate does not trouble you, overly. True. But I'm guessing the fate of those whose country they invaded didn't overly trouble them. Nordlings, we can bathe you, shave you, and clothe you, but teaching you manners, that will be a challenge. Nice meeting you too. Done. Shall I shave him once more, against the grain? No. He himself is very much against the grain, that's enough. Boom. Farewell, Witcher. Or rather, see you soon. A bit of a dick. Good. But whatever. Now the gentleman may dress. All right, come foot down. Give me the look like I've fucking done Sadly, something I wrong. Not to receive exact measurements. If the garments chafe, our tailor will adjust them. Ha! Huh, I'm gonna go for the one on the left. Where are my clothes? Where they should have gone long mm. ago, with the laundress. They will be returned to you after the audience, clean and starched. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. I guess. We can do this one. It's probably the best one, I guess. The others look like shit. That looks really frilly and... I don't know about this one. Huh. No, I think I'll go for this one actually. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to go into my inventory. Inventory. There we go, there we go. Oh. Didn't need to do that either. And there we go. Sweet, I look as cool as fuck. And they say clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? Yeah, it's alright. A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? Ha! Huh. No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. Oh, you being sarcastic. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Can 
to farm away. Please watch. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. I don't want to fuck it up. I might as well just do do the right one. Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace, but we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. Oh, calm the foot down. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your arch magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Well. In Grimmy et Art Kerze. Dyfen Aden in Karn eb Marvut. Emir var Emreis. Bow. I'm going to be a dick. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen, vat gern favort. So many months at Faltest Court. Yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. You know what they say. Can't teach an old wolf new tricks. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days. He's got bells on his, uh... Silence. He's got bells on his fucking My shirt. Surila, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt... That's, um... Tywin Lannister. You will find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yanafu will do that after the audience. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. <laughs> Look at her there. You are looking for That's her. funny. I doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you more than you customarily receive for a contract, considerably more. Well, thank you. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My core of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meredith, take him to the sorceress. Well, that was a lovely audience. Just an absolutely delightful audience. The gentleman will not understand. Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the Emperor? I'm gonna kill him. I really don't like him. To the gentleman. But I shall be punished. How? Please keep close and bother no one. If we had enough breaches of etiquette for one day. Right, okay. I'm Herivard the second, Prince of Elanda. Not only am I made to wait here like a succubus. Mm. 
my hair flowing like that. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I should shut up. <sighs> anyway. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. That will sharpen the edge. Yes. Then transcribe. The see what see what Yennefer wants. City council or the merchants guild. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm -hmm. And it seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now, or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. Hmm. So they're our agents now? My, my, you've clearly settled in quick. Geralt, don't twist my words. I know who Emir is. I'll twist more he than your words. This war and its bloodshed. Ah. He had my friends killed, but I haven't any other choice. So please, let's not belabor the pros and cons, and instead focus on finding Siri. All right? Right. Emir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see. I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. No. Got it. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic. Turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. So where's Siri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords, secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun, your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. There's sure the other one I mentioned. to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Siri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. I might as well ask. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Damn, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Well, that did not work out well. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, kiss. talk to Ambassador Vartra. 
That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. Yay! I shall be waiting. They kissed. I asked them to kiss and they kissed. Well, guys, next time. Well, let's just, let's just recap what we've learned. What we're going to be doing, what we found out is we found out that Siri's back. Didn't know she went, but whatever. Siri, I guess I would have found out if I played Witches 1 or 2. Anyway, Siri's back. And we need to go and find out where she is and get her. Because of some reason. However, I'm imagining we're going to have a lot to do before that happens. So, I'm going to grab my stuff first. Shame I, have no I don't like to not. How might I it. serve the gentleman? Here we go. By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. Alright then, guys. Let me just change this up. And this back on, this back on, cavalry boots back on, this back on, crossbow, um, let me just put this on there, that, and that, okay. So I look badass again. So next time on Game of Bite. We will go off and we will um we'll go and find that informant and find out where Siri is. So see you guys next time. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. I'll see you guys next time.